All right, guys. So I want to talk to you today about the mythical starvation mode. I had uh, someone ask me about that today. So I figured I'd do this video. <clears throat> so first and foremost, as I suggested by calling it the mythical starvation mode, uh, starvation mode doesn't exist. It's, it's not a real thing, but I'm going to explain to you the mechanism of what happens that can lead people to think that starvation mode is actually a thing. I'm going to throw some numbers out there just for a general context. Obviously, this will vary from individual to individual. But let's say we have a human being that maintains their weight on 2000 calories. It's cool. So we have their, their maintenance calories. They decide they want to lose some body weight. So they reduce their calories from 2000 down to 1500. And they'll see a, a decrease in body weight when they do that. It's natural. So it's a fair amount of calories they've cut there. They'll probably feel a bit grumpy as well, depending on how they react to it. Uh, but their body weight will decrease. Eventually, that weight loss will slow down and then eventually it will stop entirely. And that leads to the point where people start to think of starvation mode. They think I haven't changed anything and my body weight has stopped decreasing. So what's happened there? It's not starvation mode, it's metabolic adaption. What happens is once you go from 2000 calories down to 1500, you're in a deficit. Your body mass starts to, to, to decrease. As it decreases, your BMR lowers, so your basal metabolic rate, which means you need less calories to exist because there's less of you, to the point where 1500 becomes their new maintenance because the body is a very adaptable machine and it wants to find homeostasis. It doesn't want to be in a deficit. So when we're in a deficit, the body is going to try and get back to balance. So you're now on 1500 calories and that is your maintenance calories. Your body weight will kind of plateau and stay. What do we do when we get to that stage? Well, what we don't do is we don't start reducing the calories further and chasing the numbers down because it's a finite process, right? You can't keep just cutting calories and cutting calories because what happens? You get to the point where you cannot physically take in any less calories. You, you'll be absolutely exhausted. You'll be drained. You'll feel weaker. Your performance will decrease in all areas. And it's obviously none of those things are good. So when we reach that phase, what do we do? So we look at a situation called reverse dieting. Now, reverse dieting is not immediately going back up to 2000 calories and eating everything because your body will increase. If I've gone down to 1500 calories, I may increase my calories by 100, 150 calories, very small, very incremental increase in calories. And I'll stay there for a week or two and I'll monitor my weight and see how I get by on that. And my body will adjust to the increase in calories because I haven't done it in a huge big hit so when I started losing weight I decreased my calories by quite a considerable amount when I'm increasing them by reverse dieting it's a very steady very measured very slow process so a couple of weeks I'll stay with an increase of 100 150 calories maybe potentially go further than that but I may not need to and eventually a couple of weeks my body will have adapted to the point where that is now my maintenance and if my goal is still to lose some body weight I can reduce back down to the 1500 and theoretically my weight should shift again now when I'm doing the reverse dieting process if I increase my calories by too big a window then you'll notice an increase in body weight that's why we monitor it very carefully when we get to that stage so that we don't go back where we were, where we started from so minor increase monitor my body weight wait for my body to adapt to that potentially increase it some more then if my goal is to lose body weight again, I then reduce my calories back down to say the 1500 and watch what happens to my body. And you should probably find that you start to lose some body weight again. So starvation mode, people will call it starvation mode. The reality is it's just metabolic adaption. One thing that we need to make clear is that what will not happen when you reduce your calories is your body weight will not increase. I've had a few people suggest that saying that they reduce their calories and their, their body weight has been going up and that their body's gone into starvation mode. It's not a thing. Generally and unfortunately what tends to happen when it comes to these situations where you think you're taking in a certain amount of calories, but your body weight is increasing. So you're on your 1500 calories, you're in your deficit in theory, and your weight is increasing. The, the reality in that situation, more often than not, unfortunately, is underreporting, be it accidental or sometimes deliberate, most of the time accidental. And that is completely normal because humans are awful when it comes to estimating portions. So we look at something that's about 50 grams. It could be 150 grams, you know, things like that. We tend to underreport things by quite a considerable amount. I still maintain that flawed tracking is better than no tracking when it comes to holding yourself accountable, but that is one variable. There are other things that can influence the, the calories burnt, you know, and that, that can be very individual to the person. So you could look at medical conditions, age, gender, things like that, things that will 
that will influence the other end of the spectrum. So we, we, we can look at calories in being imperfectly measured, potentially higher than we think. Calories out can be altered um, via those biological factors, but also things like our neat so I just start fidgeting. If you notice here, I gesture quite a lot. If I was in a deficit, I wouldn't, I'd probably be hands by my side and it wouldn't even be a, a conscious decision. Your body just adapts. It's a very, very clever machine. It wants to find homeostasis and it will do it in the best way possible. If I move my hands enough times, I'll burn some calories. So my body stops me doing that completely without me even realizing it. It's just a fact that you'll have to take into account. So there's things like that, that again, can, can influence the either end of that, that equation and, and throw our calculations out and make it annoying for a lot of people because every everything they're doing appears to be right but there's there's these imperfections that, that throws things out and that that's fine you know we just we just adapt and we adjust based on what's happening but again doesn't matter who you are i don't care who you are your body cannot break the laws of physics so if you listen to this video and you're still saying that your body's going in starvation mode it's not i'm afraid